In Syria's war, the demands on medical services are all-consuming. They can't get enough help. And this Italian ambulance, heading on its first call-out to a field hospital, is a rarity. A fighter has been stabilized shortly after leaving the front line. This is an urgent transfer. He needs surgery. For fighters, for civilians, it doesn't matter. We just try to help people here. We need more ambulances. The voluntary civilian group, Sadok, is trying to get more international donors, having made a start with two ambulances imported from Italy. Sadok also provides ration packs for destitute families. Paid work all but disappeared when this part of Aleppo was taken by the rebels. The enemy for the people is poverty. They're in desperate need. They've lost everything. We don't know how it's going to be this winter. We're doing the best we can with what we have. Suduk has volunteers on both sides of the divide in Syria. This diesel fuel tanker is supplying bakery ovens and the generators for hospitals. They tell us it's come from Assad forces in a clandestine operation using soldiers who sympathize with the rebels. We prefer that they stay with the regime and don't defect until their mission is done. They deceive the army into thinking that the heating oil is going to military bases when in fact it's coming to us. It's the medical services where Suduk says it needs the most help. It may be a small beginning, but this is the sort of non-urgent work this organization wants to focus on. This man, walking wounded, was caught in a bomb blast and has shrapnel injuries. This patient has already had two operations for an abdominal injury, and he's on his way for more surgery. All the world has turned its back on us. Arabs, Muslims, Christians, Buddhists have let us down. We're being killed and no one is listening to us. Suduk's new ambulance service is in big demand, along with all of its other work, in a place where help is hard to find. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Aleppo, Syria.